The Danish Boy Written in 1799 by William Wordsworth Between two sister moorland rills there is a spot that seems to lie sacred to florets of the hills, and sacred to the sky. And in this smooth and open dell there is a tempest-stricken tree, a cornerstone by lightning cut, the last stone of a lonely hut, and in this dell you see a thing no storm can e'er destroy, the shadow of a Danish boy. In clouds above, the lark is heard, but drops not here to earth for rest, within this lonesome nook the bird did never build her nest. No beast, no bird hath here his home, bees, wafted on the breezy air, pass high above those fragrant bells to other flowers, to other dells their burthens do they bear, the Danish boy walks here alone, the lovely dell is all his own. A spirit of noonday is he, yet seems a form of flesh and blood, nor piping shepherd shall he be, nor herd boy of the wood. A regal vest of fur he wears, in color like a raven's wing, it fears not rain, nor wind, nor dew, but in the storm tis fresh and blue as budding pines in spring, his helmet has a vernal grace, fresh as the bloom upon his face. A harp is from his shoulder slung, resting the harp upon his knee, to words of a forgotten tongue he suits its melody. Of flocks upon the neighboring hill he is the darling and the joy, and often, when no cause appears, the mountain ponies prick their ears, they hear the Danish boy, while in the dell he sings alone beside the tree and cornerstone. There sits he, in his face you spy no trace of a ferocious air, nor ever was a cloudless sky so steady or so fair. The lovely Danish boy is blessed and happy in his flowery cove, from bloody deeds his thoughts are far, and yet he warbles songs of war, that seem like songs of love, for calm and gentle is his mien, like a dead boy he is serene.